Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a tag video. I was tagged by my wonderful amiga, Laura the Camo Chica. And this is a tag that I believe was originated by Melissa Adams Wade. If I'm incorrect about that, I will insert all that information down below, but that's where I believe it started. And I'm gonna talk about my nine out of 10 almost perfect bags and why I think they're almost perfect. So stick around. Welcome back to my channel. My channel is about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury, whether that be your cup of coffee, your favorite fragrance, designer handbag, skincare, designer dog that is chewing on your bags, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> just kidding. Um, I just got a haircut, so I'm a little bit kind of flustered <laughs> with how I look and what's going on. So if I'm doing this a lot, moving around, it's because of that. But Anyway, I was tagged by my beautiful amiga, uh, Laura the Camachica. She did this tag video, tagged me probably a month or two ago. I don't even know at this point because I take forever to do tags. And the tag was created way before that even. So um, by Melissa Adams Wade, and I believe maybe Agent Bag Reviews. I, I know I've seen a lot of people doing it. So um, thank you to all of you for creating it and letting me get in on this train way late but, <laughs> as per usual. But I will talk about a few of the bags that are almost perfect and nothing wrong with them. And I'm, I know they're loved by many. It's just, there's little things here and there that make me not want to grab them as often as um, I should and probably should move them on because they're just kind of sitting around most of the time. But I do find use for them, but there's just like, oh, if I could change this one thing or just change this component of it, I would use it a lot more. But anyway, so my first bag and you may, already know why and what this bag is because I've talked about it several times on my channel. I have a whole video about my love-hate relationship with the Coach Cassie. <laughs> and it's not the Coach Cassie in general. It is the 19. And it is the bane of my existence because I want to love it so much. I I love, I love the look of this bag. I love that it has three straps. I thought this was gonna be the best bag ever. When I unboxed it at Christmas time, I was so excited to get my hands on it because I'd missed out on the original version, which I think is a 20, 25 or 23. It, it's the same size as the Pochette Matisse and I can't remember what the dimensions are, I'll insert it but that version had the sewn on handle up here and is significantly wider, but otherwise identical. So I just was like, oh great, I got it on sale. It's my color, it has the straps, this will be great. Carried it for a while and I ended up at the end just be like, I, I, I'm just too annoyed with this bag. It doesn't have, um, the usefulness that I need it to have, no matter how much I love it. It's not going anywhere. It's going to sit up there on the, the shelf for whenever I can use it. But for the most part, um, I, I haven't been able to um, truly enjoy utilizing it. And mostly it's just because it doesn't fit my stupid phone. <laughs> my phone is, is a massive giant. I have the iPhone Pro Max 14 and um, it's just a little bit too big. It only fits in one place in here. So when it's in this, it's, it's sticking up and falling out. If it's, um, in the front pocket, it kind of deforms the bag a little bit. It really can only go in the middle and then that limits what else I can carry in there. Um, it, but I, again, it's, it's just me and my fussiness and me needing it to do that. Other than that, the only other thing, there are two things actually, so this, maybe this is an eight out of 10 bag. <laughs> the straps, you can't have them all on at the same time, at least mine, for some reason has an issue that if all three straps are on, um, one of these straps will randomly just fly off and it doesn't make any sense to me. So I, I will be carrying it and, be doo -doo 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 -doo, and all of a sudden this, little dog leash will get loose and I'll lose, you know, 
it or if I'm carrying it crossbody, that one will come loose. So it's like the, because this D-ring is so small, it doesn't really lend itself to having all three on there, which I think the ad actually shows it with all three at all at any given time. So that was a little deceptive in my opinion. Um, but I know a lot of people don't carry it that way. They choose one or the other. I like to have that versatility to have multiple, at least the top handle and the crossbody. The chain was really just there for decoration. I just thought it was pretty. Um, so I could lose that and maybe it would have made it look just fine, but I think I tried it. I believe I tried it for one week that way and it still was falling off. So I think just my straps happened to be um, a little bit faulty. So it's just, it's, it's me. It's apparently me, it's not you, it's me. And that's fine. I mean, it's, it is what it is. So, Coach Cassie, 19. Okay, my next bag. It's from Karl Lagerfeld. Mr. Like, known for Fendi, Chanel, all the brands. And it, I will tell you, for the money, the quality is beautiful. I got this an incredibly good deal from Macy's.com. Um, I, when I saw it, I was just like, okay, it's giving me all the Chanel that I need and the functionality. And it pretty much is. I mean, it's got a lovely back pocket that actually holds the phone. I, I'm shocked, but it holds the phone and a ticket to the symphony <laughs> as well. Still, that's the last time I carried it. And that's pretty much when I usually carry this bag. This is my fancy that out bag. Um, I just love the stitching. I love the um, metallic fiber, I guess, going through it. I just think it's a really pretty um, bag. The logo is interesting, too. It... Um, this is the Lafayette bag, and I just kind of liked its closure, and it just it just seems minimal in my opinion, considering he didn't seem like a very minimal kind of guy. So I do like that. It is a flat bag. I am not the biggest fan of flat bags, why so I don't have a Chanel bag. I don't really care for um, the fussy flaps, but this one, again, isn't as fussy. So there, I think this is my biggest gripe is like, I hate this. Why is there not a pocket or something? Why was it something thought of to put back there? There's just like useless space right here. And I, I, I'm always sticking my hand there going, I want something. And that, that is literally the th the only thing that I find annoying about this bag. So otherwise it's got, you know, three, compartment zipper right there it has card slot on the did it? no I lie it doesn't have a card slot it has a zipper pocket back here and then a pen <laughs> has beautiful lining I would pick up another one of these oh there they are I knew it had card slots the card slots are on the front of it so there are three right here so if you didn't want to take a wallet if you need to take more things with you you could I always take my slip card case so that's not really anything I care about but they're there if you need them um this would literally fit everything that I would need to go out into the city or or what have you for the day and not need to worry about carrying everything um surprisingly the straps do not bother me they are a little short um for you know it's, it's literally in the armpit kind of bag but the crossbody um is very short as well it still works and i've done it but it's definitely the straps could be a little bit longer but really the i'm i can't say that i've been upset carrying this as is I the chain doesn't get stuck in my hair that's the biggest gripe I have about the Chanel leather braided ones I there yeah I just it's literally that one weird funky one put my hand in it area but other than that if you don't want to spend ten thousand dollars on a flat bag 
get one of these. It's pretty much all you need. And they're always on sale. They're always on sale at Macy's. The rack has them all the time. Um, I wouldn't pay full price. for it. I never pay full price for anything. That's not, I, I don't pay full price for most things. Honestly, I look for pre loved first and it's only if it's my last resort that I will buy it in a boutique full price. You know, it's, I just don't, I, I know that you can get things for a better deal and I, that's my, that's my life. So this is the Lafayette from Carl Lagerfeld. Okay, the next bag is actually this one right here, and it's not designer. It is one that I got off of another YouTuber. It is a dupe. I'm not going to say it's a replica because it's not. It's, it is not an exact replica. It's from a, a now defunct brand that was very popular several years ago. I want to say 18, 19, 2018, 2019, Anafield. Um, everyone was buying these bags for um, their quality. I, I do think it's a very quality bag. Um, they put their own branding on it, so it's not a replica. But the style is nearly identical to you know, one of those. What I love about this bag is it taught me that the Kelly is likely not the Hermes bag I would ever buy. So this one, and I don't know why I think the Birkin is better because they're so similar. The things I'm going to say right now are so similar on the Birkin, but this is, hear me out. Basically the Kelly I would have to carry it open and I think that just looks like insert emoji. Um, I think it looks horrible carrying it like that. And that's my opinion. You, you care, you do a bag, you wear a bag, however you feel is appropriate. I don't like this look. I'm like, my crap's going to just uh, on the street. I no, I don't. Yeah. So I do like to carry it on occasion, but I want it buckled up and tidy and put away but that being said what truly is the um nail in the coffin is the strap is so short this is a shoulder bag it's not a crossbody bag and i think that it this bag because of its design needs to have about i don't know six seven more inches on the strap it if you try to crossbody it, it this thing this is on your boob on your boob it's not it's not pretty so knowing that it's very similar this particular style this brand was very similar to the dimensions and makings of the real thing it was like okay so a kelly is not for me why is a birkin you can carry a birkin open it doesn't have a crossbody strap that's what's wrong with the birkin but it can be carried open and not look like a hot mess in my opinion Again, my opinion, but this is the Kelly style bag and had, it, had a longer strap that I would carry it more. So it's almost perfect. I have a lot of almost perfect bags. You never see me carry that bucket bag that's up there from Louis Vuitton. It's got issues. I could probably be here all day, but I'm going to just basically end this with my bag that I wanted to love so much um, because it's so Birkin-like. And again, I do love it. I think it's a beautiful bag, but the Ralph Lauren Ricky, it, it is beautiful. I can carry it like I said, I could carry the Birkin, but when you have to tie this thing up and I have my, my video on it, it is, it is a fussy, fussy little, mm -hmm, fussy little thing. I think it's beautiful when it is completely done up with its, you know, the latch, the latches and the belts. Let me get everything out the best I can. When the belts are going through it, I mean, it's beautiful when it's all tied up. I'll insert a picture of, of either this one or another one. Um, it is, it is a gorgeous bag, but trying to get into this bag when it's got all of its bells and whistles going on. It's just a pain in the, you know what? So I just prefer to carry it open. I even store it open. Um, it's just prettier as is. So 
I, as much as I want to love it, it's, it's just too fussy for, for that. And then, you know, you wear it like this and people are like, well, what's going on? What, you know, what, what is, what is this? Why, why do you have just things? <sighs> Again, it's a beautiful bag. It, it's squishy and luxurious and all the things, but it just needs a little bit of <laughs> less fussiness, like a snap or something. You know, the Alexa from Mulberry is just like decorative straps. It just, you just pull it open and it's done. And that's probably my next bag on my list that I want to buy, but then I'll end up complaining about it and having too many fussy bags. So who knows? <laughs> anyway, that's, that is the Ricky from Ralph Lauren and my last on this list. I'm sure I can insert 400,000 down below and I might, who knows? If you want to do this tag, please do so. I know it's months old, but who cares? You know, just get on, get on your iPhone, get on your Android, whatever camera you have, pick a couple of your bags that you want to complain about and, you know, complain, give a heads up, be happy about who knows whatever you have to say about it please do please share like comment subscribe comment down below do you hate these bags do you love these bags do you disagree with everything i said that's okay let's disagree <laughs> let's chat i hope to see you on the next one take care mm -hmm.